Hello everyone. Today we are going to look at my beautiful leucistic monocled cobra. It's hard to get this guy to eat in front of camera. He's very shy. And I think we are getting a lot of white imbalance in this footage due to the snake being leucistic and having a fluorescent light on top. Uh, but we can at least see him feed, maybe. Hopefully if he doesn't move too much. Um, he is in a plastic tub, but that plastic tub is in a bigger terrarium, as you can see. I'm using these tubs now because these snakes like the... humid environment inside them um, I had shedding problems with them, misting didn't help so I tried. I decided to isolate the wet environment in a plastic box and keep the cage dry in general it seems to be working as you guys would remember from the last video this guy had some lesions on his scales um, I was gonna take him to the wet but I just wanted to put some antibiotic cream on it first and with excessive soaking um, and antibiotic cream application after his last shed he was perfectly fine so we don't need a trip to the veterinary I have a uh, venom snake wet nearby, I'm lucky in that sense, but um, it's still a stressful trip for both the snake and the veterinarian himself, as he doesn't keep venom snakes, so he's not extremely used to seeing one in his office. Alright, that was good, that was quick. He obviously won't stop before seeing this beautiful guy Hood. I'm just gonna There we go. As you guys can probably see, his belly scales are perfectly fine and he's doing okay. For those of you guys who are new to my channel, this is my leucistic Thai Cobra. Leucism basically causes all the pigmentation from the skin to go away and you end up with a white snake and they have deep blue eyes it's a uh, recessive color mutation and in my opinion it makes some truly beautiful snakes there we go I'm trying to get him to hood for you guys so we can see the belly scales, but in essence, he's alright. He's... This one is always a bit on the nervous side, I have to say. But he eats well and he grows, so they're all good. And for the species, this is a Naya Cayutia. It's a monocled cobra or a Thai cobra. They come from 
Southeast Asia, South Asia, those areas, Thailand, Vietnam, and they're very nice cobras. They get to be big, about a meter and a half or so. If you watch my videos, you'll also know that I have a female that looks quite different compared to this guy. Well, since we are at it, I gave him another one, which will, <clears throat> and I gave him that in the other part of the cage, and hopefully that will give us some close-up view. If he doesn't move, but obviously he will. This is a larger mouse, so it's not going to be as quick as the other one. I think this is good, it gave us a bit of a uh, scale detail. Let's see? And from here I can see that I think one of his nose plugs did not come off cleanly when he shed last time. So, I may need to at some point within the week restrain him a little bit and take that nose plug out snakes they have eye caps and nose plugs the skin around the inside lining of their nose basically um, that needs to come off obviously when they shed you want every piece of scale to come off uh, especially the eye caps are very important because if they accumulate on top of the eye, they may actually cause blindness. And this guy is very good at getting his eye caps off. First mouse was a hopper, as they're called. Reasonably small. This one is, is basically a young adult, so it's a bigger mouse. It's the biggest mouse that this guy ever ate so far in his life. And I think he's doing a good job of it. I have to tell you, this wasn't my best camera work today. Sorry for the shaky image. It's tough to film this guy. He is so agitated. But anyway, um, this proves that he can easily stomach a large mouse. 
which is what I'll be giving him from now on. I hope you guys liked it. And I hope you guys will have a great week. Take care. Bye.